everybody welcome back to my channel today I thought I'd bring you yet another beauty video I have been toying with the idea of different videos now for a few days and I do have another one in mind which I will be filming for you at some point and it will be going up around the two weeks sort of mark between vlogs and things but I have accumulated so much stuff in the last couple of weeks because I've obviously been off work and things and I thought that I would take this opportunity to show you it all because some of it is new collections some of it is just incredible products and some of it um, I'm just jumping on the bad wagon with basically and I just thought that I would inform you that I am also trying it. Continue to watch if you want to see what I've been getting my hands on recently. Okay then guys, firstly I thought I would start with a product that is the one that I have been jumping on the bandwagon with. Um, I have seen so many people going on about this product that I was like, right, I need to see what this is all about, why everyone's in love with this product so much. Because it is a little bit something that you wouldn't really usually try. So whoever did, well done to them, you've literally like created something unbelievable here. But the product that I want to mention is the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. I am yet to try this yet because it's all still in the box and everything so that I could show you it for this haul. But basically, it's meant to be some sort of incredible primer for like makeup and things. So I thought I would jump on the bandwagon with this and see what's going on. I do have full intention of writing a blog post about this once I have tried it. But I will keep you well aware and fully informed, probably on my vlogs, how I'm getting on with this product. That's the first one and it costs like £5. That is insane. So yeah. Alright then next I thought I would just mention briefly some products that I got given in a goodie bag from London Fashion Weekend which I attended a couple of weeks ago. And you will have seen on one of my most recent vlogs. I will also link that below if you haven't checked it out yet because it was insane. And Obviously I filmed the whole, the whole thing in that so we were lucky enough to receive one of the tote bags that you got that day and it had some incredible products in it which I have been um, giving a go some of them and some of them I've saved um, to show you guys. So I'll start with the one that I've been using which is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb um, Moisturiser and it is absolutely insane. Like, I didn't want to start using it but the reason I did is because I went home last week and I took my Estee Lauder moisturiser with me and used it all while I was at home and I didn't bring a spare, I didn't even think about it. And this was the one that was in my bag obviously because I just went straight from London to my house and I just thought right I might as well start using it. Oh my god it's incredible like it smells well, it's pomegranate it just smells amazing and it's so good like it leaves my skin feeling super super soft like I literally I'm so happy that we received this as a little gift from them it's so good obviously I'll link all these products below so you can go and check them out I really cannot recommend this enough I love it so there's that uh, next one is a trusty um, repurchase of mine actually so when I saw this in the bottom of the bag I was obviously like oh yes winner I love these products so and I actually don't have one of these kind of ones and it's the baby lips lip balms and I have actually I've literally got so many in my bedroom like on my lipstick thing then this one is one of the doctor rescue ones it's a pink me up one um, and I just absolutely love it it's like very pink I haven't tried it yet though um, but I do love these they're very very good for adding color and like moisture to your lips and I literally could not recommend them enough if you're not really into lipsticks and things these are like your halfway point between a balm and a lipstick so they're really really good and amazing value and last forever so yeah I'll leave that below as well and finally a product which I haven't got around to using yet but I am excited to try it because I don't actually have anything like this and it is the Label M um, Professional Hair Care Protein Spray and basically what you do with this is spray onto your damp hair, massage in and comb. I guess it's like to control like frizz and things like that which is obviously great for my hair because I do have naturally frizzy hair but it's obviously just in a spray sort of container. I'm guessing you don't use a lot of the product because you might make your hair quite greasy but I'm excited to try it so I'll, I'll let you know how I get on with this as well. Okay then next sticking with the London theme because I'm just going in a bit of an order here. Obviously me and my friend Ruth went down to London and spent like the night there and like did London Fashion Weekend and then we went to Harrods and then we went for food and we went for drinks and like all that palaver everything that you should do when you go to London basically and we obviously took a long trip to Harrods uh, wandering around the makeup section going to pretty much every single like place so now I'm going to talk to you about what I got there because I spent a little bit of money in um, Harrods so I got the MAC Pro Long Wear um, foundation because everybody raves about this like people either love it or hate it it seems so I thought I'd give it a go because my skin's kind of been like not rejecting I still out of double wear at the moment but it's just not been fantastic with it like I've been having off days and I don't know if it's just the way I've been applying my makeup that day or whether it's just like 
starting to think, oh, I'm getting a bit sick of this one now. I need to try, you need to try another one, Lauren. So I've gone with it and I've bought the Pro Longwear um, foundation. And I've not actually tried it yet. It's still in the box because I've got a little bit of a thing about finishing a foundation before I start a new one. But obviously, if your skin if your skin's not like looking good with the foundation, obviously I'd open a new one. But it's it's kind of like got a bit better recently, so I'm not I'm kind of holding off opening it just yet. But as soon as it does again, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. The lovely girls in Mac in Harrods um, tried it on my skin, and perfect perfect match. So I was really pleased with it. And luckily, it was actually myself that matched it up. It's a bit abnormal, really. Um, and I got it in NW15, which is obviously one of the lightest shades you can get. I'm literally so pale at the moment. So I better start using this, really, before the warmer weather comes, because I would imagine when I get a tan, this is just not going to look right. But this was about £25, I think. I'd wanted it for a while, and I'm really glad that I finally got my hands on it. Next, then, we went to another of the beauty counters in Harrods. And it's not really a beauty brand that I have ever really seen before, so I was quite impressed and really overwhelmed with the incredible products that it actually had and it was actually Marc Jacobs like I've never even seen any of their beauty products before so obviously me and Ruth were like all over it sort of like looking at all of their products and the girls were like on us like like instantly like trying things on us like recommending things to us I tried on an incredible dark lipstick which I loved but I could not justify buying another one considering I have about 10 um, and it was very similar to a few of the shades that I already do have so I just didn't I didn't reach for that but I have been wanting a contour palette for a while and you can never ever ever get your hands on the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones so I saw this one and the girls at Marc Jacobs could not recommend it enough and it is the Marc Jacobs Instamark light filtering contour powder and I swear to you this is the nicest palette ever and it's in the shade 40 Mirage Filter. I'll get it out and I'll show you it. And obviously I might do a little swatch over this. So if you're watching this, you might see the swatch right now. But I just want to show you the actual palette itself. Like it's so sleek and shiny and just incredible. Like this is it. And inside is the most beautiful, like a matte brown shade with a banana shade as well, which is great for underneath your eyes for brightening up and highlighting. And I am literally obsessed with it. I don't even want to touch it because it just looks like perfection right there. But I just, I absolutely love it. And I've been saving it for this video to show you guys and now I'm so glad that I've done this because I can actually use it so I'll have to do a blog post about this and let you know how I get on because Marc Jacobs makeup honestly looks insane this was about 30 I think it was 33 pounds which I thought was really reasonable because I think the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones are a bit more expensive could be wrong there so don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure I'm right so I thought that was really reasonable and then Ruth got the foundation which was 37 I think again could be wrong don't quote me on that but um, she isn't literally not stopped raving about it she just has to use the tiniest little amount pop it onto her hand and use it and it's literally like a pea sized if that it's and it covers a whole face it's insane and like the coverage is incredible as well so again absolutely recommend giving them a little like snoop online or whatever and seeing what you can see and i would 100 percent recommend getting your hands on this incredible palette like oh my god it's the most beautiful palette with this i then got given by the lovely girl that was in there the mac jacobs omega Omega, yeah I think it is Omega, volumizing mascara and it's just a little sample and it's an obviously black but I'm really excited to try this and then a mini gel eye crayon which is like a little eyeliner and it's the packaging, silver, metallic, wow, very nice um, and it is literally like a gel pencil and if I still wore like proper eyeliner all the time this would be insane, I might actually just have to use it just to see if um, it makes me love eyeliner again. I don't know about you guys, but Marc Jacobs is seriously not a brand for makeup that I've really heard of. Obviously, I've heard of like the perfumes and things, but not really like makeup wise. So if you want to see like first impressions or something about these products, then let me know in the comments below. Or if you'd just be happy with a blog post as well, I'd be really, really like pleased to like let you know how I get on with them. Okay then, and finally, the last set of products I want to talk to you about is quite a lot. So it's don't, don't panic, it's not quite the end yet. But you might have seen that the same weekend that me and Ruth went to London if you watch my vlogs you might have seen that we went to the body shops uh, most recent event in Meadowhall and it was basically for the British Rose Collections um, launch and which is a limited edition collection it was mainly for like Mother's Day and things but I think it might last a bit longer than that I'm not entirely sure how long but obviously I'll link the body shops website below and the collection below as well so that you can go over and check them out and luckily enough for us we got like an exclusive look at all the products which again you will have seen in my vlog because I 
I received a hand massage which was insane using all of the brand new skincare products from that range. So if you go over to my vlog now you'll be able to see like what order you're supposed to use the product in, how they should be used and things like that. The whole thing's like been filmed for you all so you can go over there and check that out and obviously I'll link that below. Um, but I have actually got a couple that they gave us in a goodie bag and I bought a couple of the products myself which I'll be doing things with in the future on my vlog and probably on here as well. But I'll just show you now quickly what they are and um, what I decided to grab from that event. Okay then, so firstly I thought I'd start with the actual British Rose Collection product I got given. So starting with the hand cream, it's the British Rose um, Petal Soft Hand Cream. It's just like this mini one, but I love hand creams. I use them all the time. I take them to work with me. They sit in my handbags. I just love putting hand cream on. And obviously if you've been in and smelt the British Rose Collection in the body shop, it just smells absolutely to die for. Like I could not recommend it enough. It smells very feminine, very, very pretty, very floral, which I like, but like rose scented, not like overpowering like some kind of floral scents are. It's just really nice and I just cannot get enough of it. I'm so glad I actually got given some of these products because I didn't really buy very many myself. Then I got given the Body Shop's British Rose Instant Glow Body Butter and this was one of the ones that they actually used on me on my hand massage at the actual event and literally it leaves your skin like with this really pearlized sort of look um, and it's really bouncy and it's just very moisturizing and smells incredible again. If you've used the Body Shop products before you know that they are very like smelly if you like and the, the strong there is a strong scent to them all this is like no different to that it literally smells to die for i am obsessed with it and this one's a mini one but you can make body but butters last forever and i'm just really like the glow that this one gives you sticking with the british rose collection theme i thought i'd show you the palette that they have created so it's this british rose palette here and it's the rosy tones and smoky toned um palette which is so nice it's got this gigantic mirror and then it's got all these beautiful beautiful colors in so you've got two blushes and then you've got your three smoky tones so you've got a silver a blue and like a gray blue at the, at the back and then the bottom you've got your three rose tones which are really pretty you've got like your pinks your peachy pink and then more of a dusky pink and they're all really nice so i'm definitely going to do a look on my blog with these very very soon so you need to go over and check that out so yeah that was about I think it was about 20 pounds don't quote me on that I'll link it below and I think body shop are really good anyway with like discount codes and things so you'll have to have a little look and see if they've got any of the discount codes still on you have to get your hands on this before it disappears it's going to be the most beautiful beautiful palette for that transition between now and spring and then spring and summer it'll just be incredible and it's very versatile as well you can like use the shades to create a daytime look and then you can also use them to create a nighttime look so if you're interested in me doing a look with all of these shades one for day and one for night I can completely do that just let me know in the comments below and I will sort that out as well um, and then next I don't believe that this was a part of the British Rose collection sort of launch but it is another range of products that the body shop have just recently launched so I thought I'd just speak to you about one of the ones that I've got my hands on and it is a brand new lip and cheek stains I picked up 018 dark cherry because although I've not really been wearing my red lipsticks recently I do really like them but I've been looking looking for a lipstick which is a particular sort of shade of red and these are great because they're buildable and the the one layer of it to me was exactly the shade I've been looking for so rather than building on it I just liked it with one also the dry matte I love a matte lip, so obviously that was a winner for me. But the range was massive. I'm very excited to try this. Again, I'm going to do a look with the palette and this one. Keep your eyes out for that, and I'll let you know how I get on with this and how long-lasting it is. They did sort of say it was, like, quite long-lasting because of it being matte and it's a stain. We'll see how we get on. It's, like, sort of like the standard lip gloss applicator, which I guess makes it quite easy to apply. But, again, I will probably do a little review on this over on my blog, so go and check that one out, and I'll let you know how I get on with it. Now, moving away from the British Rose collection because that's all the products that I got given but if you wanted to see any of the others then please go over to that vlog and check out what else was used and I'll also link below the um, the actual website and the collection and things so you can go check it out like that but still with the body shop um, I'll just talk to you about a couple of the other bits I got my hands on um, they kindly donated a gift bag to each of us and this was one of the things that was in it and I love these um, like shower buff things they're incredible I use them all the time it means that you don't use as much product when you're in the shower so you can just like literally squirt a little bit onto here ruffle it in, use it on your body and voila. I got kindly given the pink grapefruit shower gel. Pink grapefruit now is probably my favourite scent of all time. It's the freshest, just nicest scent ever and I always reach for it 
whenever I can. So I was so pleased when I got my hands on this. Oh my god, it just smells amazing. It's like the freshest thing ever. If you're ever tired on a morning, then have a shower with pink grapefruit shower gel. Oh my god, you just feel instantly like revived and awake. It's incredible. On the hand cream sort of uh, hype again, um, I went for one of the almond and well, no, almond hand and nail creams. I've had body shop hand lotions loads of times. At Christmas, I had the plum one. It was just a mini one, so it got used very, very quickly. So I thought I'd grab uh, myself another one, but this one's the bigger one. And the reason I decided to go for this is because at the time, it was half price. They're usually £11, these rather large ones. I mean, if you look at this in comparison to the other one, that's the mini one, and that's the one, um, the larger one. So obviously I got my hands on this, and it was reduced to £5.50, so I thought that was really good value, because this will last me. Uh, probably not as long as some people, because I obviously have a job where I wash my hands constantly, but um, it'll last me a good amount of time. It smells like marzipan, which I love. I won't be able to use it around my boyfriend though because he's got a horrendous nut allergy so that'll have to stay in my work bag that one. But I really really liked it and now I can't get the top on so that's great too. And then finally I spent probably a good amount of time that night looking at the fragrances that actually are in the body shop. Um, now White Musk is one that I have had for years, like it's one that I got gifted I think by my mum a few years ago at Christmas time and I use it every single day when I go to work. Now it's not the perfume, I think it's just the body spray or the body mist or whatever you call it, but I've had it years and I know that because it's the old packaging. So because it's literally got like none left in it, I'm really coming to the end and I like using like a cheaper sort of perfume for work. So I thought I would pick up another one and take the opportunity while I could. And it's, it's again, it's a rose scented one, but it's not from the British Rose Collection. It's the Atlas Mountain Rose and it's a fragrance mist. And I just fell in love with this. I mean, the lovely girls that were doing the body shop event, like that work there, one of them, I think she was called Amy. She went through every single, I felt so sorry for her, but at the same time, they were all just so dreamy. She went through every single scent with me that was in that like sort of the shelving sort of thing. And I loved every one. And I think she was probably getting sick of me because I was saying I loved every one and I couldn't choose. But when I smelled this one I don't know it kind of makes me feel like it it reminds me of my mum like this is sort of what my mum smells like but I just really like it and it oh it just it smells so feminine and just pretty and I was just ready for a change from white musk I love it but I was ready for something a bit more different and I'm really glad I picked this one up I've not used it yet because I'm still at the bottom like using the bottom of my white musk and I'm so somebody to finish a product before I open a new one so yeah I'm so excited to open this one and use it because I literally love it in fact I'm gonna spray myself with it now mm. Now I just smell like my mum, which makes me miss her. <laughs> and last but not least is another product from a new range from Body Shop as well. And it is the Drops of Youth collection, which I'll also link below because we had the opportunity to have a skincare demonstration from a lovely, I think she was called Charlotte, at the Body Shop event. And she showed us how all these products worked, how they complemented each other, how they worked for individuals. So I picked up one of the products from that range and it was the Wonder Blur. I think it's a moisturiser primer. That's why I kind of reached for it because I'm not really, I've not really got a primer which really like works for me at the moment but I'm excited to try this one because she could not recommend it enough it's meant to be very moisturizing and a primer so it comes out like a moisturizer it's very much like a primer actually and it sort of mattifies yes that's really really nice doesn't smell like anything really but I don't really mind that especially if it's a primer like you don't really want something too too like fragranced on your skin it's very nice actually it leaves your skin feeling very soft Wow, I picked that one up. Again, I'll do a blog post on that one because I'm excited to give that one a proper, proper try. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that one on the blog and also be sure to go over to the website and check out these various different new launches of products. So you've got the lip stains and cheek stains, the British Rose collection and also the Drops of Youth collection as well. Every single thing I've ever talked about here will be linked below but also the collections as well. And also let me know if you grab any of them as well because literally like they are amazing. And that is everything for now guys. So that was quite a lot there but at the same time I hope that I have not really bored you with talking about things too much. Keep your eyes peeled for like blog posts and things of the look that I have been that I said I was going to talk about with the different products and things that I have picked up like the contour palette and the eyeshadow palette from Body Shop. Be sure to go over to my blog and keep your eyes peeled for that. And also don't forget to follow my Instagram and things. I'm always putting pictures up when I've liked a product. My name would be just here now. It's what Lauren loves with two S's on the end. Um, so be sure to go and follow me over there. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I would love to hear some more of your recommendations about videos and things like that you'd like to see me do soon. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys really soon. Bye!